some of these drugs, in particular, brigantinib and lalotinib, are not funded. They're proved that they're not actually funded. Canada is an outlier. Most jurisdictions, Europe, United States, most parts of Asia and Australia have already approved the use of these drugs under specific circumstances. I was diagnosed in 2013 with stage four lung cancer. I was very disappointed two years ago to learn that Cadiz did not recommend reimbursing lorlatinib. Treatments like lorlatinib and brigatinib are very important for people with ALK-positive lung cancer. I was diagnosed in 2018 with non-small cell lung cancer. Compare Labrena, Lorlatinib with chemo, there is no comparison. With um, the TKI, your life is absolutely normal. You can live a normal life, you, you function normally, you can work, you can play, you can exercise, you can do everything that you did before. There are elected representatives. I would want to say to them to consider what it would be like if it was one of their loved ones, a family member or best friend who was facing a need for these drugs. Some of the drugs that I've been on cost in the vicinity of $10,000 a month. No one can afford that. We need to decide how much we value human life, how much we're willing to spend for people to stay alive. Drugs that are useful, drugs that are approved and funded in the rest of the world are somehow felt to be less worthy to be used on our Canadian patients. And for that, we need a change.